Hi, my name is Jameson Irvin and I'm manager of the Nature for Development program at the United Nations Development Program. I also manage the Equator Initiative, which is a partnership for people and resilient communities looking for nature-based solutions to sustainable development. I want to share two stories of recent prize winners. The first one is in Ecuador. This community has created a community-based forest reserve that allows them to keep their rights and avoid illegal mining within their forests. By doing so, they're sequestering carbon, but they're also meeting their basic sustainable development goals. The second prize winner is from Honduras. This is the Pesh community, and they provide one of the most valuable non-timber forest products in the world called liquid amber. They used to have fluctuations in the market that would mean that they would cut forests and they would harvest liquid amber in an unsustainable way, but by banding together, they created a cooperative, and they're marketing to some of the largest fragrance companies in the world in a sustainable fashion, and they're getting fair, equitable prices for their product. These two stories illustrate that communities can live in harmony with nature, and they illustrate the importance of indigenous rights to conserve forests. Indigenous peoples own roughly 30% of the world's forests. We won't achieve our climate goals unless we conserve forests, and therefore these two stories show why conserving forests and indigenous rights are a pathway to a climate-friendly future.